Hi everybody, I'm Patrick from Patrick Boards and I would like to introduce you to our F-Wave. The F-Wave is truly, it is, it is like the fastest wave board on the market. Why do we do that? Um, a lot of people, they just love jumping. The best jumping board is the slalom board. You have a long fin, you can go super fast, you hit the wave, you can push on the tail, the fin surface, it's just, you can load it and you can just take off into the seventh sky. The problem is the way it is a slalom board, your land probably break, it's too fragile and uh, it doesn't turn on the wave. So this is what we tried. We tried to make a board which is fast and jumps and strong enough to withstand all the landings. So starting with the scoop rocker line. The scoop rocker line is um, based from a normal wave board but we, we filled in the tail kick, so it has less rocker and less tail kick. So it is rather a bit straight, but instead we also reduced the, the tail area while having kind of, let's say, a rail cut out. You can look at it as a winger as well, but it's just not completely cut away. And why did we do that? On a slalom board, the side cutout helps just re to reducing the, the wetted surface. You just have more speed, but you still have that kind of volume on the rail to, to get onto the plane or after jibe or you just have this extra volume to keep on going. Mm -hmm. um, the top speed is very, very combined also with the, the tail shape. We have a swallow tail. Um, <laughs> this is not just some fancy swallow tail. It is really, we, we, we tested a lot, we tried different cutouts, different, different shapes to make the board fast and still turning. The problem is, like a slalom board, you have cutouts on the side of the fin box. It's just when you, when you, when you on the wave and, and, and you do that bottom turn, you just lose the drive because when you're on the rail, so you're losing the length of the tail. So if you have a cutout here, the, the, it, it would be like I will cut the tail off here, so you don't have you don't have that push anymore in the tail. So when you bottom turn and there's nothing to push back, you, you kind of stall the board and it, it just slow down. While you still have some length on the rail, it's it's pushing back and you keep the front of the board in the water, which it's 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 just more drivey. The the length right behind the fin box is reduced. As I said before, we're trying to have a very, very fast wave board and not losing too much um, the wave ability. So with this tail, with the side cut out, and of course in combination also with the fin setup, which is a thruster, so you can easily either use it as a single fin or like a thruster fin. Again, when we talk about speed, when we talk about going really fast and accelerate and get onto the plane, it's just a single fin with the surface. It's just, it's just, it's just the best setup. Still, we have a thruster setup, so when you're on the wave, you're not losing too much grip. When you're on the rail, you have, a, you can put some little side side fins if you like. The bottom shape, um, we have on all all the three sizes. We have a monoconcave in the front, which makes the board plane early, and it feels very smooth running from the under the back, uh, front foot and the back foot in a double concave and at the very end in a flat V. The double concave makes the center line like kind of stick out a little bit more and it's absorbing the chop so it's kind of it's, it makes the board smooth when you when you go full speed and at the very end just the normal single just a normal V it's just the water release is 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 it's everything is quite quite smooth when it is and makes the board fast. The outline, it's, um, it's a normal, it's nothing special, it's just a normal waveboard outline, but of course in combination with that little cutout on the rail, you could say it's, it's almost like a, like a winger, like we have on the QT wave. The volume distribution, that back foot in comparison to waveboard is rather a bit higher so you have that push when you want to go really fast. If, if the back foot is too low, you can't push the tail, you can't go full speed. 
So again, that board is like, uh, it has a very balanced volume distribution. Back foot, front foot, almost at the same height. We have um, different insert positions again, like on the QT Wave. This again, for those who like the board rather a bit more on the wave side, they can put the, uh, the strap position a bit more towards the center line. And for those who love jumping a bit more, they can have it just 45 degrees. While both of them can still change the, the size of the insert plugs, you can have the strap more narrow, a bit wider, depending on your, if you have a wide foot or a narrow foot. Well, we have um, three sizes, 75, 85 and 95. I hope you like it.